Welcome back, Nick Lenz's Comic Corner Classics Last Non Class. This is episode 110. Yes, 110. 110. And this is my 51st double shot. Okay. Journey to Mystery Exalted and Journey to Mystery Manchester Gods. Sorry for the paper, but I got these from the library. What is from Flynn? Now, this book is a crossover between Journey to Mystery and New Mutants. Pretty much in this very crossover, pretty much almost all the characters from the Thor comic book show up here, except for, uh, who... Basically, the whole point of this story is basically about the character Stuttgart, who is a legendary warrior. Let's see if I can show a picture of him. I know he does appear in here. I just gotta find a picture of him in here. Uh, let's see. I want a good picture of him. Perhaps when he's in armor. Let's see. Give me a second here. That's him. That's Stuttgart. Basically, this is all about, basically, we're revealed that, it, it, this is all across those New Mutants. He collects the Exalted One Shot, New Mutants 30, 637, 638, and New Mutants Volume 3, issues 42, 43. This is not bad, but there is a ton of dialogue in this freaking thing. It took me twice to get a full understanding of exactly what happened in this freaking book. Yes. That is how, that is how, hard to read this. It takes a while to read this freaking thing. Let's see if I can show what the pit front picture looks like. Uh, I, I think I can show uh, there is a, there is something I can show you in here. Here we go. These are all the covers connected. Yep, that's all of them. Now, the artwork is pretty good. It's basically written by Karen Gillian and the writers of Guardians of the Galaxy, Dan Abbott, and Andy Living. I do like New Mutants issues in here. They're good writers, and I do like Karen Gillian's Run Journey to Mystery. This is pretty good, but not as good as the follow-up one. And by the way, the next one is basically the first time there's no cross or banner attached to the title. Yeah, that's one thing to for Journey to Mystery. Ever since things started, up until the very ended, uh, up until Lady Sip took over the title, when Luke was in the book, Every, almost every single issue except for three had a banner on top of it tied to some crossover. That's how weird this book was. But the book itself was really good. I got credit for that much. 8.5. This is Manchester of God. This collects issues 639, 641, and Mighty Thor number one. My, now, Mighty Thor number one takes place before issue one of the Mighty Thor series. The reason why it's collected in here because Manchester of God is a three part arc and they got put in someplace. Now, this arc is the only time in the entire time Loki's in this freaking book as a starring character that does not have a banner on top of it. It's a regular book. Not time to shatter he not time to uh, crossovers. It's time to fear itself, shatter heroes, and everything burns. Everything burns as a follow up to this one. Basically, the whole point of this is simply that some new gods have shown up, and they're calling them the Manchester gods, and Loki is out to do some stuff because of dual mothers. It's a bit confusing to explain exactly fully. You just gotta read the freaking book. Um, I give this book a nine out of ten. This is much improvement from from Exalted. All right, all right, that's it. Stay tuned for my next episode with my fifty second double shot and episode two one eleven. Excuse me, not two eleven, one eleven. Okay, see you there. Bye.